it's here! It's finally here! <laughs> you, you big monkey boy, except not you. Just one that looks like you. Guys, we've got a mild, a mild, we've got a mild Megapithecus out in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we finally got a mega megapithecus, a megapithecus, a wild megapithecus prime out in the wild, spawns in naturally. And uh, well, guys, we've been waiting a week for this. It's been a long time coming. We are going to go and kick its butt, but not without a challenge, unfortunately. For uh, it is unfortunately located outside of the boundaries of the map, buried amongst other megas and primes and dinosaurs that want us dead. Uh, so it's going to be a toughie. To, to get to but um i i have faith i have faith we're gonna get it we're gonna finally complete this manticore set of armor and well that might be the final little checkbox that we need to tick before we finally fight apex prime rodan yeah can you tell i'm excited about this one <laughs> so excited that we're actually going to um delay all of that going down because this video is sponsored by mech arena mech arena is an exciting fast-paced 5v5 mech shooter jam-packed full of non-stop action it places you in the pilot seat of over a dozen different mechs each with their own weapons abilities strengths and weaknesses i love the customizability that comes with this game there's over 30 unique weapons and 5 100 different skins that can truly let you make your mech your own. But recently, they took it up another notch by introducing pilots. There's 12 completely unique pilots to choose from, adding a whole new depth to the game's strategy. You can customize your pilot skills to build one that fits your personality, playstyle, and of course, your mechs. Battle Pass Season 7 kicks off this month, where you can get your hands on a bunch of goodies, including some awesome new skins. There's also a brand new pilot coming to the game, Stefania, along with some new weapons to equip on your mechs. Mech Arena is completely completely free on both Android and iOS. If you want to check it out, either use my special link or scan the QR code on the screen and you'll receive a starter pack with $45 containing the Steel Reaper skin, 500 A coins and 70,000 credits to help kickstart your game. And a huge thanks to Mech Arena for sponsoring this video. All right, well, now that that's out of the way, I think it is time that we go and take this sucker down once and for all. And honestly, I haven't been out there yet. I'll be honest, I haven't seen him. I actually have no idea about the situation out there all i do know is that um if you check your little scan i think my bobby here hop in mega you will see megapithecus at zero zero but you'll also see dodo rex you'll also see raptor you'll also see, thank gosh there's none of these out there um i'm sure there's a few other fellas out there in fact it's not oh there's a mega reaper queen thankfully no shadow mains though so it's not it's not terrible but it's it's gonna be an iffy one the question is gonna become though who are we gonna take with us so it turns out in case you guys aren't aware but I, I i know a lot of you in the comments are very well aware you cannot damage the megapithecus with ice attacks yeah that's why our, our ice man score wasn't doing the job last time we found one of these guys if only I'd known sooner before it despawned. But we have a few fire options that we can use. We have our ancient prime dragon over here. Unfortunately, big fella up there ain't going to be able to cut it for this one here. But we've also got some manticores down here on the beach. Fire manticores. So I'm actually considering going and busting out one of these guys. Um, oh, who do we want it to actually? It just dawned on me, right? I don't actually know who's got the better stats out of these guys. So we should probably compare the two. Pick the one that has the higher levels in the right areas type of thing. Shoot a quick itchy Thornus out of the sky before he goes and, you know, inevitably breaks bowls. And uh, yeah, I reckon we got to level one of these guys up and take them out for a spin. So let me just go put them side by side real quick. That way I can do this nice and easily. But basically what I'm looking at is... I'm looking at who has the best levels in... All right, let's have a look at stamina for a start. This guy's got 180 levels. This guy has 167. Uh, let's look at speed. 184, 176. That's that's good for this guy uh, because you don't want levels in speed. Uh, we got uh, 175 in health versus 163 in health. And as far as damage goes, 196 versus 212. Oh, all right, that's a tough one because this guy here is better with stamina. He's better with stamina. He's better with um, stamina. So <laughs> stamina. He's better with speed, as in worse with speed, but better with health. This guy here only has damage going for him. So I'm... Oh, boy. I think I'm going to choose this guy. He's also a slightly higher level. So, all right. It's going to be you, friend. It's going to be me. 
Let's just land you down here very quickly. We're going to go and grab a little pet for our shoulder. Um, I actually don't know if we got any high level friends. It's, I guess it's going to be you. Yeah, I guess, I guess we'll pop you on the old shoulder. We got a bunch of health potions ready to go already. In fact, I think I killed a prime last night. I did. A prime raptor. So, shall I put this towards... No, I don't know if we're going to put that towards anything just yet, to be honest. But, yeah, no, I guess not. We also got ourselves a chibi phoenix. I've never had one of those before, so that's really, really cool. All right, let me just drop some of this other stuff off very quickly. And then all that's left for us to do is, um, well, I, I, I guess we got to level you up. Don't... Oh, no, no, hold on a second. I nearly forgot some very vital pieces and parts to the puzzle. We're going to need ourselves a manticore head. Check. We're also, I think that's actually it. I think that's legit, ultimately it. Cool. All right, mate. Let's go and complete the final piece of the puzzle. Uh, let me, oh, wait, no, we got to kill some stuff first. I was going to go and teleport up to the top of the map, but nope. We got to do a little bit of killing first. Hey, my guy, he doesn't even have a saddle. I knew there was something else I couldn't remember. My boy, my saddleless friend here, he needs a saddle. It's all good, though, because I got plenty of them down here. I have a really, really good one, too. 195. That is what I am talking about. Oh, and by the way, if all things get, like, really, really bad and we struggle to actually get this guy killed, we've also got four hearts that we got from sacrificing stuff just yesterday. So we can, uh, we can always utilize that to our advantage. Now, from memory and experience, killing this wyvern here will pretty much max us out. So I'm hoping... Look at this void worm. What's he want? Buddy, back up, mate. Back up. What do you think? Whoa, hey, buddy. buddy. You guys just... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. This guy just res... Oh, uh, hello. Okay. Why did I... Wait, what? That just spawns right underneath me. Wait, why are all the wyverns... Wait, I'm so confused right now. Hold on a second. Hold on. Is this a thing? Okay, so I kill... I kill... I killed... Wait, what? I killed the wyvern at the nest. That's fair enough. Then I killed the void worm that's coming for me. Cool. But then an apex fire wyvern... A prime. Not just an apex. A prime fire wyvern spawns right on my face like that? That's not... That's, that's, that's not normal, right? Am I imagining this? Or is that just... That's bizarre is what that is. Anyways, we got 151 levels to allocate. So let's do exactly that. First things first speed which actually isn't going to work out as well as it normally does because these guys have been slightly nerfed look at that did you see that look at this oh wait maybe not oh there we go okay so we can still go sideways as you can see but if you go sideways backwards nope slows you down oh that one worked okay i don't know they're a bit weird with their movements it's not perfect but sometimes he like janks up a bit and he stops on the spot so he's gonna be hard to control i think anyways let's get him nice and healthy pump them levels into the health i would like to see him with a good amount of health i think like 200,000. i feel like is enough to save us from silly situations a chunk into stamina as well for obvious reasons and i love how little levels he's got in oxygen 159 you don't want levels in oxygen on something that can't even swim so that's perfect um unfortunately there's a lot in food there's a decent amount in weight but thankfully, we got a chunk in melee damage. In fact, melee damage is his highest stat overall, which is amazing. Perfection at its finest. Um, all right, I'm liking this, to be honest. I think I do like this. All right, let's finish. I'm just going to pump them all into melee damage. Yeah, this guy's going to be an absolute powerhouse. <laughs> oh, this guy's going to kick some butt. And then last but not least, we have one final little step that we need to enact, and that is feed him the head of a manticore. He has eaten the head of a manticore. Give him his saddle back. He now, he gained, ooh, ooh. He only gained 40,000 health. He gained 5,000 stamina, 40,000 health. That's, that's, a, that's a terrible gain. Normally you can gain up to 50%. So I was hoping for around 300,000 health. That's pretty bad. Um, oxygen, food, weight, whatever. Melee damage though, gained nearly a, nearly a whole 50%. So I think this guy is going to be a beast personally. Um, I've tormented this little village down here in the desert enough, I think. So let's go find somebody else to test it out on. A unique... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was all right. I actually don't know how much damage I dealt to it. Uh, I didn't see the damage markers, but good enough. 
You know who I'm going to test this guy on? There's, there's literally a prime fire... There's a prime fire wyvern over here that was tormenting us a second ago. Let's go and check him out. Where did he go? Where did he get to? He was over here somewhere. Ooh. Just a unique Apex Pithecus. I'm going to kill your big brother soon, old Apex Pithecus. The question is, though... Oh, it's a... Oh, it's just an Apex Sabertooth. Where did that wyvern get to, man? He was out here somewhere. I'm going to have to scan for him. Uh, wyvern? Prime fire one? No, not that. Wait, what? It despawned. Did it? it de I think it despawned. All right, now I'm even... Oh! It just dawned on me, guys. It just dawned on me. That, that poor fire wyvern didn't want to kill me. He wanted to befriend me. I summoned it in. I forgot my X ability. This one here has the chance. Oh, hello. How you doing, mate? It has the chance. Oh, boy. Yeah, we do some nice damage. Oh, my guy here hits like a thousand, hundred thousand damage. Oh, that's, that's some good old damage. Hoo, hoo, hoo. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, I might have uh, kind of forgotten that ancient dinosaurs summon in prime dinosaurs as little summons. And there is a very, very, very rare chance that you summon in a wyvern. In fact, that's the first time it's happened this entire series from any of our ancient dinosaurs. So that is, um, yeah, okay, cool. Well, I, I feel better about it because I, well, I, do I feel better about it? Because now I just made a silly mistake. I ran away from my own, my own summon <laughs> my own teammate i ran away scared from uh, anyways we got business to attend to so let's go and attend to it oh hello prime dimorphodon how you doing i will happily i will happily test out my friend on you buddy if i can if i oh he's extra strong and extra oh man i nearly one shot him Okay, just please, just please don't fireball me. Oh, he's only got 1,000 health left. Come on. Oh, I thought that was going to hit him. Surely I can fire breath him though, right? Oh my gosh. What is with your controls, mate? You're all over the shop, buddy. There we go. That'll do. I don't know how my fire breath just traveled straight through him, but we got the results eventually. Uh, we didn't get much for it though. We got a prime kibble and not much else. And I just drop it all. Because we have far bigger things to attend to. And I think, is that the spot that I'm currently heading towards? I always get lost out here. Let's have a look. I think that's it. I don't know what's up with the little falling wyvern. But, um, what's he doing? Oh, hello. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Don't know wyverns. We got, we, we, there's a lot of wyverns out here. And there's, here, here, here he is. There he is. There he is. Uh, there's a lot of guys out here, as a matter of fact. But that's the one we're looking for. The Mega Pithecus. The problem is... I'm more worried... Yeah, I'm most worried about this guy, to be honest with you. Spino X. This guy here has the ability to ground us. Not only that, so does the Mega Reaper. And then we got this guy here who has the ability to one-shot us. There's a giant Dota Rex down there, and he's a troublesome beast. Also, these guys getting angry at each other? Yes. Yes, fight each other. Get angry with one another. And now... We have a flying Dodo Rex, apparently. <laughs> I think the Dodo Rex and the Spinal were trying to fight it out. Oh, not to mention, we got a Yeti with an egg on its face. We got it. Oh my gosh, we got Compy Primes out here, too. We got a Poison Valor, too. Man, there is just. There's just a lot going on out here. I don't know where to even look. Um, I somehow need to extract that monkey, though. The problem is, if I attack the Reaper or I attack the Dodo Rex, just laid an egg. Someone just laid an egg. Wait, what? Wait, what was that? Wait, what was that egg? That that egg was enormous. I've never seen that before in my life. Uh, now I just don't know what to do at all, to be honest with you. I, I need these guys to get angry and fight each other or something. Or I just get to get really lucky with a fireball blast. Um, that'll do. No, it won't. It will not do. Okay. Okay, go. Okay, okay. Fine, it's fine. Uh, who is shooting fireballs at me? Okay, I actually can't move right now, guys. Okay, I have no idea where those fireballs came from. 
Well, that is, that's something. <laughs> what? What? Are you absolutely joking or what? I don't even, I can't even. What in the world just went? <laughs> well, that Megapithecus be kind of strong, though. Um, okay, then. Well, we lost our pygmy. We lost our manticore. Lucky we've got two of them. But it doesn't make me feel any better about what just happened. I uh, okay, I need some stuff. I need some things. That is really, really bad. Wow. Like, I knew Omega Pithecus's giant rock blast deals a lot of damage, but that much damage? No, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. I did not anticipate that. I guess this is where it pays to have backup plans, and lucky for us, we've got this big red, red fella right here to help us out. So, um, Wyvern, get annihilated. Did I summon it? I summoned in a dire bear. See, that's what happened, except last time it was a Wyvern. All right, let's get you up nice and strong, mate. Hopefully you can outlive your buddy there who, for, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. Also, I'm struggling to get this guy up to a high level of health. That's actually kind of interesting. I'm going to get you, oh, it's because I don't have my armor on. I'm going to go and get it though, so it's okay. Yeah, I forget that armor plays a role with this sort of stuff too. 10,000 stamina, and then uh, I guess it's probably the rest into melee damage. But this guy here should be a better damager than our previous one. Let's get it to like, a th well, I get, yeah, I don't know, like that. That'll do, I guess. Um, we'll land you quickly, feed you another manticore head. Man, I feel like we were just here a second ago. Oh yeah, that's right, we were. There's your manticore head, friend. How did we end up? 230,000 health, stamina. Health and stamina are the same. Melee damage is pretty much the same. Everything's pretty much the same. Great. Uh, time to find my dead body. At least these dinosaurs shouldn't be aggroed on me because they're, well, I died. And that kind of kills the whole aggroness of them normally. But we will see, I guess. <gasps> my RG survived? For now. For now, I didn't lose a pygmy. Hey, that's good news. All right, now I just need to not be in the water right now. We're gonna try a bit of advanced transfer. Hmm, all right, time to go deep sea diving. Well, this was a bad idea because I'm kind of drowning. So I, I, need a, I, need, I, I need some help. I need some help from one of my friends or a scuba suit. I don't, I don't really mind. Hmm. Who wants to go swimming? Not gonna lie, I never thought this day would come again, but, um, oh, Sarko buddy, I, I, I need to ask a favor. Yeah, I mean it too. Who would have thought I'd ever be busting out this guy again, eh? What I'm hoping we can do though is kind of just swim to this general area, pop up this guy here, access my gravestone. There is a mega, mega, mega oh gosh. Okay, there's a few coming. Personal inventory, transfer, transfer, and we're out, and we're out. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we did it. Uh, yep. Just undoing the problems of the past. Now it's time to actually try and do what we're trying to do. I just got to get back on this guy before the Megalodons come to the surface and kill me. Oh, my arm is broken too. I got to go and repair that too. Are you kidding me? Okay. First things first, I'm going to recraft a soul gun because I don't know what I did with my own soul gun, but... I missed my soul gun. It saves a, maybe it just makes things a little bit easier. I'm gonna get this armor nice and repaired. And now it's time to finally return and this time hopefully not die. So how do we get these guys separated is the question. Or is it? Because I might have an answer to that. Who says we need to use our Manticore's Blast to separate these guys? Why don't? Why well, actually don't know if this is gonna work or not, but if I can shoot through the wall, which we can, Okay, I can lure him away. Oh, we could have saved the life of our other Manticore. We lost it all for nothing. <laughs> How did I never think of that before? Okay, that, that now I just feel really, really, now I feel really, really stupid. But anyways, it's all good. Let's just not lose our second Manticore. Now, what I'd really like to know now is what sort of health our friend here is uh, packing. That really, really hurt, mate. Um, one, I'd like to know his health, but two, I'd also like to know what his little stat buffs are. Oh my goodness, that nearly killed me. 
Oh, that nearly killed me. Okay, I'm still getting used to the new movement of this Manticore because he just doesn't move as smoothly as he once did and it's really, really, really throwing me out. Um, okay, I just need health potions galore right now. Not to mention, he nearly actually put my dude to sleep. Um, so that's a problem. I didn't even see that rock coming at me. All right, you know what? Okay, yeah, and I gotta be careful here because that was, that was silly. I really... Okay, health potions. He just started doing something now, please. Okay, so the strat is... Uh, I don't even know what the strat is. I'm just not used to the movement of this manticore. It's just not feeling right anymore. Um, but we'll get there. It's fine. It's fine. Well, I'm hoping... I hope, oh, okay, no, that's cool. Actually, no, they still hurt when I'm really, really low on health like I am. Giant rock coming for us. There's obviously a cooldown of some sort on that rock, at least. So we just need to... I don't know. Think about how the last time he used it and when the next time he uses it, it's going to be. And there it is again. Okay, suddenly he can throw them through the boundary of the wall. He never used to be able to do that. And I miss the days where he couldn't. <laughs> I miss the days where he used to break on the world border. Okay, here it comes again. All right. Yeah, legit. If he hits me with that, I die. That's all there is to it. If he hits me with that ball, we're done for. So let's try not to get hit by it. I think that's the only strategy. That, see, that one stopped on the wall. I like how we got to cheese this guy and we're still struggling. We literally gifted the easiest boss kill known to man. And we still somehow keep on... Oh, I didn't even know that one was coming. That's what worries me about these like massive explosion clouds. Also, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, mate? Get back down there to the water, please. All right, I'm going to wait and get some stamina and I'm going to hop out the way of that one that, lucky for me, didn't really travel very far. Um, actually going to drop some more health potions and do a little bit of strafing side to side. Um, yep, there it is. I knew it was... Oh, okay, good. Got stuck just the way I like it. And I'm just going to sit and regenerate some stamina because we're really not getting as much stamina on these guys as we used to. It's... We used to... I think... I think the man's cause a bit nerfed. I'm going to be honest. These guys used to gain... Oh, Dodie! Hey, buddy. Do you want to go and attack him for me? We got a little prime Dodie down there. In fact, he dead. Never mind. Dodie Curious is dead. That didn't last long at all. That's cool. That's cool. He just dropped his rock blast, which means I am going to drop my fireball blasts. And surely... All right, I don't like it when I can't see what I'm doing. So let me just try a bit of strafe action. I'm like, just, my heart's beating. This is a really un... It's, not, it's like, it's not a very intense battle. Don't get me wrong. It's pretty lackluster. But the stakes are big. I know that with a single shot, he can kill me. I'm glad these little bowl, these little ice balls aren't really that scary, though. And I can gain so much from killing him as well. I think that's the part that's kind of, like, intriguing to me. Oh, we did it! <laughs> yes! Yes, son. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, ho, ho, we got the gauntlets. That's it. We're done. We've got the full set at last. The full set of Manticore armor is ours. And I can move quite quickly. I think we got a bit of a speed buff out of it. That is sweet. All right. I'm going back to base. Or are we? Wait, did I get a... Did I get a... Oh, we also got a corruption crystal out of it. So we only need one more corruption crystal. Oh, and we got an Apex Prime Pithecus Summoning Artifact. I've got ancient ones of these, but not just a regular Prime one. So that's pretty cool. We got the Beta Megapithecus Trophy up here. We got a Fat Man Launcher that I can use for... Oh, we got a few blueprints up here, actually. Hot a damn. An Apex Gigantopithecus Pygmy. A bunch of stuff <laughs> that's whatever skis us, but I don't know. I don't really... I don't really... Oh, okay. I shouldn't have dropped the Alpha Rex... Whatever. Doesn't matter. It's just an Alpha Rex heart. Not the end of the world. Drop the ammunition because I don't really need that stuff. All of this, though, I will keep. That there. That's cool. That's great. All right. We're going back to base real quick because um, that is... <laughs> we finally did it. <laughs> we finally actually did it. I'm like just trying to... Just trying to process something I've been working towards for like seven days just to get a single piece of armor, just to kill a single monkey. It might have even been longer than that. But we have finally accomplished it. Such a such a small thing as well. I think that's the most annoying part. Anyways, what is weighing me down right now? Because I am ridiculously heavy. Oh, that's why we're heavy. <laughs> uh, 150 kilos of, of monkey heads. Yeah, that would do it. 
that would that would certainly do it all right so i sorted through most of this stuff and i think the most exciting part now is this nine corruption crystals i know it doesn't sound that exciting i know it's not that interesting but there is uh, there is a reason behind the excitement for these items and i will share that with you in a second basically if we hop into our little book here and we go to the corruption armor stage now this isn't what i'm looking for but it is something to do with this basically there is something to do with combining armor with corruption crystals that actually lets you get special armor it's a completely random roll uh, but basically you end up eventually with a full set like our chest piece that we're wearing now this is corrupted this has been fused with corruption crystals now unfortunately right now we're actually saving up these crystals for something completely different we're not using them for um armor but eventually we will be that day just is not today uh also we've got another little oh, gorilla here who you know what i'm gonna evolve him straight up and then i'm gonna sacrifice him because that's what we do around here um i don't even know how much meat we need to make that happen but hey buddy um here eat some meat will ya i think they need 25 I gave him 51 just to just to make sure he eats it all. So uh, let's get that gobbled down. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm so psyched about this. And there we go. An Apex King Kong Prime. This time, not a unique variant. And uh, this time, gobbled straight up. Fantastic. Well, now we've got five hearts. The question is, do we go? Actually, what about this guy here? The Apex Prime Pithecus. We've obviously got the ancient boy up there and two more summons separate. I... Yeah, you know what? Actually, this guy looked kind of cool, though. Are they the same thing? I think it is. It's just a pretty... Yeah. You know what? Uh, buddy. I think I need to sacrifice you. I do. Okay, good. I wasn't sure if I did the right thing just then. And the reason I did that is because he gave me this little item right here. The Pithecus Prime token, which um, we can obviously combine with our other tokens down here, which we now have a total of four different variants. There's a few more to collect, but eventually, once we get them all, we'll be able to summon them all into a Mega Rex, and that'll be really, really exciting. We also got this just then, a Prime Gorilla Heart. Used to obtain the Ancient Prime Gorilla, which we've already got a bunch of, so that's, yeah, whatever, I guess. <laughs> Didn't really need that too urgently. Also, for whatever reason, I have another Sacrifice Elixir here. I I thought I'd... That's interesting. Didn't I just... Didn't I just use two of them? Where did the third one come? I have no idea. Well, if you ask me, guys, I think we might be just about ready to take on old Roden. We've got the full set of Manticore armor. We've got a decent supply of health potions, although I don't know if we need a few more. We've probably got to craft up a few more of those, which we can do. We've got our big old Ice Beast, the Ice Prime Ancient Dragon up there, who is pretty much primed and ready to take on Roden. And we've got a few pygmies to choose from. Except I think we're going to deviate away from the standard old RG Sinoma crops. And uh, we might even be going into Kairuku territory this time around. You know, mix things up a little bit. But ultimately, we're going to be going for Prime Roden very, very soon. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. You'll have to tune in and find out.